In this video, we demonstrate how to incubate the CAM antibody microarray with two samples of dye-labeled lysate proteins and how to remove proteins that are not captured by the antibodies on the microarray. Remove the vacuum-sealed CAM microarray package from the minus 70 degree freezer and leave the package unopened on the bench at room temperature for at least 15 minutes to avoid moisture condensation buildup on the surface of the array. Unscrew the cap of the microarray slide container and retrieve the CAM antibody microarray, part CAM A, using a gloved hand and without touching any array surface area. Place the array on the bench surface with the antibody side facing up towards you so you can see the Conexus logo and read the barcode at the bottom of the array. Save the microarray slide container for subsequent blocking and washing steps. Quick spin the 10 times blocking buffer 1 vial, part CAM J, and the blocking buffer 2 vial, CAM K, in the microcentrifuge. Transfer all the liquid from the 10 times blocking buffer 1, part CAM J, into a 50 ml conical tube with a pipette, and then transfer the blocking buffer 2, part CAM K, into the same 50 ml conical tube. Adjust the final volume with water to make up to 20 ml, then mix by inverting the tube several times before pouring it into the microarray slide container. Place the microarray into the microarray slide container and keep the container on the rotator in slow motion at room temperature for one hour. Make sure the microarray is constantly submerged in the blocking buffer. Make up to 80 ml of incubation buffer from the 10 times incubation buffer concentrate, part CAM B, with the addition of water. After one hour, pour out the blocking buffer at the end of the blocking step and replace it with 20 ml of incubation buffer. Wash the array in the incubation buffer three times for two minutes each time on the rotator.
After you have washed the microarray three times with the incubation buffer, replace the buffer with 20 mL of water for two minutes on the rotator. Dry the microarray with nitrogen flow and place the dried microarray on the bench facing up. Peel off the paper backing from the adhesive side of the CAM2 well incubation chamber, part CAM C, and lower it carefully onto the surface of the microarray, with the adhesive side facing the array. Carefully position the chamber so the outer boundaries of its wells are aligned closely with those of the microarray, and away from the end containing the barcode and logo. Dilute the purified labeled protein lysate in incubation buffer to a final volume of 400 microliters. Load the protein lysates into their respective incubation fields and make sure the liquid in the well spreads out evenly to cover the array surface. Place the microarray in a humidity chamber and keep in the dark. Place the humidity chamber with the microarray on the shaker for two hours at room temperature. Dilute the 12 time wash buffer 1, part CAM L, with water to a final volume of 20 ml. Pour the wash buffer 1 into the microarray slide container. Shake off the samples from the surface of the array before peeling off the incubation chamber at the end of the incubation step. Place the microarray back in the microarray slide container. Wash the microarray for one minute on the rotator. Dilute the 12 times wash buffer 2, part CAM M, in water to a final volume of 20 ml. Pour out the wash buffer 1 and refill it with wash buffer 2. 
Wash the microarray for five minutes on the rotator. Dilute the 12 times wash buffer 3 part cam N in water to a final volume of 20 ml. Pour out the wash buffer 2 and refill it with wash buffer 3. Wash the microarray for 2 minutes on the rotator. Dilute the 12 times wash buffer 4 part cam O in water to a final volume of 20 ml. Pour out the wash buffer 3 and refill it with wash buffer 4. Wash the microarray for 2 minutes on the rotator. Rinse the microarray in water for 2 minutes on the rotator. Dry the microarray with nitrogen flow. At this point, the microarray is ready for scanning. If you are interested in having Connexus perform the scanning or analysis for you, dry the microarray slide container with nitrogen flow Store the microarray inside the container and keep in the dark at 4 degrees.